Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Linear momentum and the collision. This is the third case talk about the conservation of momentum in elastic collision. In, in, in elastic collision, kinetic energy is not conserved because part of the kinetic energy lost. But the momentum is still conserved. So after collision, these two objects still separate. So for example, we have two objects, M1, M2. Before collision, the velocity is V1 initial. Let's say this example we give uh, these two, let's say, is V two initial if they collide and uh, before collision they moving towards each other towards okay after collision and one and two maybe the first one the coin and the second one maybe go that way. There's a two final, one final. Because kinetic energy is not conserved, so we cannot write using the conservation of kinetic energy, but we still can write the conservation of momentum. So which is M1 V1 initial plus M2 V2 initial equals M1 V1 final plus M2 V2 final. Vector, vector, <coughs> vector, vector. So we only have one equation. So that's why we only solve one unknown. So in that situation, we need five information. We need M1, M2, V1 initial, V2 initial, and also we need information about one of the final. If we're looking for V2 final, we need to know we v1 final so we need to know m1 m2 v1 initial v2 initial and v1 final then we can find the v2 final okay because this is a general expression it's not when you solving the problem you need to make sure and the v1 final, v, uh, v1 zero, v1 initial, v2 initial, and v1 final, the direction and the magnitude. Okay, let's look at the example. Two balls, m1 equal 20 grams, m2 equal 15 grams, travel towards each other at a speed of 12 meter per second and 28 meter per second respectively. If the balls have a head-on in elastic collision, head-on in elastic collision, and the 20 grams ball, which is the first ball, recoil with a speed of 10 meter per second. So, M1, M2. They towards each other. 
So this is V1 initial, V2 initial. Because this one is 12 meter per second is V1 initial. 28 meter per second is V2 initial. This is V2 initial. Because towards, let's set up to the right is positive. So the velocity go to left, negative. So this is a positive because they go to the right. This is negative because toward this is a negative direction. And after collision, the 20 grams ball records with a speed of 10 meters per second. That's why the M1 after collision recoil was go back. So this one is negative. So that's why this is negative. This is a V1 final. <clears throat> Looking for the velocity of the 15 grams ball after collision. So we don't know this velocity. V2 final, we don't know. They collide each other if it is go left or go right. So for the M2, because we already given M2, right? But we don't know the final. We're looking for this. So we can follow inelastic collision only momentum conserved. So we can write M1 V1 initial plus M2 V2 initial equals M1 V1 final plus M2 V2 final. Because we, we have M1, M2, V1 final, uh, V1 initial, V2 initial. Also, we have V1 final, but we're looking for V2 final. So that's why we can manipulate the formula. We write V2 final equals. In this situation, we can write V2 final. equals top is M1 V1 initial plus M2 V2 initial minus M1 V1 final and divided M2. all the information, M1 equals 20 grams. In this situation, we can see, we given all the mass is grams, grams, grams. Technically, we need to change grams to kilogram because SI unit, the unit of mass is kilogram. But in this question, Even you don't change to kilogram, you will got the same answer. The reason is we can see the top is gram, grams, grams, grams. The bottom is grams. So the mass, grams, gram, gram, they will cancel out each other. So we we, we can keep the grams. So twenty grams time V1 initial is 12 meter per second plus M2 is 15 grams multiply because this is the 28 is negative 
negative 28 meter per second subtract is 20 gram times final velocity is negative 10. The burden is M2, which is 15 grams. Look. Grams, 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 and grams. So we can cancel. So we got velocity is still meter per second, right? Meter per second plus meter per second and press another meter per second is still meter per second. So this is to make you easy. 20 multiply 12. Then be careful, this is negative, so we subtract. Or you just add, you can do plus is 15 times bracket negative 28 close bracket then this one is subtract negative so finally is adding so just a plus 20 times 10 and equal 20 on the top, divide the bottom is 15. We got 1.33. So the answer is 1.3 meter per second. So also we got the positive. That means the second ball after collision the direction is go to the right. This is presented by wise guys. If you still have difficulties with your physics, please contact with Ron Hamilton in Learning Assistance Center at 632-2251. Thank you.